So, you're in Naples, Florida, and you're looking for a great cup of espresso. Well, you've come to the right place. Each week, I visit area coffee shops, restaurants, hotels, country clubs, you name it, and I report back to you about the espresso. But you answer the question, is this the best espresso in Naples? By leaving your comment down below. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about grinders this week. So without further ado, Stop using blade cutters or so-called grinders. Use burr grinders at your house. Or if you can, just get yourself a commercial. Uh, here's a picture of mine at my home. Uh, it's about an $800 commercial slash residential uh, low volume uh, grinder. Uh, you don't have to go out and get a commercial grade grinder. They make great little burr grinders. Okay, now why do we want a burr grinder? Well, a burr grinder is uh, adjustable. A blade grinder rips the beam and the uh, grind size is inconsistent and they're not adjustable. Uh, why do we use a burr grinder? Well, a burr grinder uh, shaves uh, very consistently, whereas a uh, blade grinder rips the beam. Uh, you're going to want consistency in your uh, what they call fine sizes, uh, your your little grinds. You're going to want those as close to the same size for the uh, more accurate extraction of the grind. Uh, a blade grinder does not allow for that. You're going to get very inconsistent grinds. Some are going to be small, some are going to be larger, and that's just going to reflect in the taste of your espresso. So anyway, don't use this one. This is a $30 model that I've had for years. Uh, I used it years ago when I was doing French press coffee, and, and I think I used it maybe four or five times. And it's been sitting in cab in my uh, kitchen cabinet for 30 years, maybe more. Anyway, don't use a blade grinder. Get yourself a nice burr grinder. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this episode has been helpful. Please hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell and the thumbs up if you found some information here. Uh, Visit back often. This is a quick little episode about grinders, but uh, hopefully next week I'll be back on track and we'll visit another place and we'll get uh, a little espresso reaction. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for stopping by. Now, let's go get some espresso.